one very important thing is what we must capture now. Mm. God is effecting the culmination of the age. Mm. This age mm. that I'm counting now, 2819, is winding down. Mm. And as it was in the days of Noah, mm. there's a new epoch mm. about to be to begin. Mm. We are in a transition. Mm. And as it is mm. in every transition, mm. there is separation. Of course. There is the real and the fake. Mm. There is the perfect and the corrupt. Mm. Let's go back to Noah. Mm. There was corrupt mm. when the angels, fallen angels, came, slept with the daughters of men, gave birth to Nephilim. A corrupt breed of people. Yeah. They ran the world the way they liked. Mm. They were running as in the way their corruption even made God repent. Mm. God turned around his agenda. Mm. Do you understand? It was mm. in the plan of God. Mm. It's the same thing that is happening in our times. Mm. We have a blend mm. between the fake and the new mm. and the real. Mm. There's a blend between the truth mm. and the false. Mm. The false eh, is, is he has facts. Mm. So you think not it's true. Truth. Not true. You think it's true. Mm. But there are facts to show mm. that this thing is like Christ. Mm. But you see, as we are going, it's only Christ that we, see God is actually trying to do it. Use a, a sheep, mm. and it's only Christ mm. that will come out, not Christ. Mm. Christ. Mm. So this Christ will be spread across nations. Mm. The same Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Too. That's mm. why they call him body of Christ. Mm. The man can be a Chinese man. Mm. The man Christ told the same human being. Mm. He can be a generation of Chinese people. Mm. The same human being. The same Christ. Mm. I'm not saying Christ. Because many people are fighting against this now that some people say, I am Christ. Mm. And no, that's, the, that's the plan mm. that God wants. Mm. You must identify yourself as Christ. Mm. Because that's the foundation of the church. Mm. Upon this rock I build my church. Mm. Peter looked, Jesus said, who do men say, I am. It's me that you want to identify. Mm. And you are calling that in foundation of church. You want to identify Jesus. Who is, the, who is Jesus? Jesus is the church. Mm. The church of Christ is actually the small, small, lively stones. Mm. All of them are revealing Jesus. Mm. The same person they call. Do you, do you remember Voltron? Mm -hmm. Form feet and leg, form arms and body, and eye form the head. Mm. Five people, five gifts. Mm. All of them form one man. Mm. And this man walks from nation to nation. He's introducing himself to the nation. That see, I want to rule you. Okay, if you don't submit to me, you will be ruined. Corruption will ruin you. Mm. That's the plan. Yeah. And this is where, this is how we are coming in. Now, this is what we are coming into now. Mm. Is when he says knowledge shall greatly increase. He's not mm. talking about internet mm. and knowledge NASA mm. and big, big inventions. He's talking about knowledge of you. Mm. That is Christ in you. That's Christ. See, anything that is not pointing you to the Christ, mm. That as you wear your clothes like this, you need to wear Christ's cloth. If you are hungry, you go and eat. Mm. You need to still feed the indwelling Christ. So anything that is not pointing you to the indwelling Christ, that mm. thing is the, the Antichrist. Mm. Even though he has a big church, even though he has many, many, many churches, 40,000 churches all over the world, mm. they have big, big buildings like this. Mm. If that thing is not pointing everybody individually to the indwelling right. Christ, so that the person will, will, uh, will not go through that thief. Mm. You will go, you must go through that sieve. God is actually using that's rapture. God is using a sieve to take Christ out of the earth. Mm. You must line up with that prophetic mm. um, picture. Um, you know, you must fine tune your identity mm. from being like Christ to being Christ mm. with and tears. With mm. Jesus came to his, his field, he planted good seed, he called it sons of the kingdom. Mm. It's one seed, but he called it sons of the kingdom. He planted one seed. He called it sons. You see what I'm saying? Okay. The devil now came into the Lord's field mm. and planted something that looked like the sons of the kingdom. Okay. What will it be? He called it sons of darkness. Mm. He planted people like Christ. Mm. The goal is so that Christ will be formed in us. Mm. So that when God is seeing us, God is seeing Christ. Mm. He's not seeing anything short of Christ. If he looks at Odeon, Christ. He looks at Tokwe, Christ. He looks like Indian, Christ. He looks like... Do you understand? Mm. And all these things happening through the power of the Holy Ghost. Mm. That means the Holy Ghost is like internet. Mm. If I go to China, whether I'm using a long wee Android phone, I will connect to the internet. Don't I use okay. internet? Okay. Will it change to Chinese language? It means I'll change it to the language I want to use. Yeah. Will the internet in that strange place, will it say victimize? Let me discriminate 
the device. So long as that device is internet compliant, the, the thing will connect and it will enable the device to operate optimally. That's what the Holy Spirit is. So long as we connect to that internet, Holy Ghost internet connection, it doesn't need to discriminate whether you are Anglican, Pentecostal, Indian, yeah. whether you are from whether you are Arabic, whether you are your language, Greek, Greek. it doesn't bother. You have become one family inside the God connection. Of and the product of that one family inside the God connection is called Christ. Mm. That's, this is the gospel that I'm preaching. If it's not pointing you to that, this arrangement, mm. tss, hello, if you take you to church, mm. you clap your hand, you think you are doing, Jesus will tell you, you did worker, you are a worker of iniquity. Iniquity, did you know that you are doing iniquity? You didn't know. Because you are doing everything you did in his name. Yeah. You built like mighty works yeah. in his name. Yeah. You were a Christian like him mm. in his name. Mm. You, were, you were motivated mm. passionately about what you were doing. Mm. Only to be surprised at the end that he said, I don't know you. Why didn't he know you? You didn't give me a chance to live inside your body. Yeah. Each time you saw people that were manifesting me, you held them with contempt. You hated them. You pushed them out of your place. You said, these ones, they are too spiritual. They are, are they telling me that they are not sinning? Because... You could not keep your eyes away from self. God doesn't want self in the Christ picture. He doesn't want self. Self eh, takes his plan. What he wants to do through the power of the Holy Spirit, he wants to reveal Christ in us. And the same is the manifestation of sons of God that the world is waiting for. Christ only revealed. Then we will now love the appearing of Christ. I will see Christ in this project. Christ, the same person that walked on water, yeah. that same Christ through the power of the Holy Ghost, the same person. This is why Apostle Paul tells us that we should know no man according to the flesh. He said we used to know Christ like that before, but now that Christ has died, resurrected, he has sent the Holy Spirit, we don't know him like that anymore. Because Christ can come inside Mr. Shofolue now, Christ will appear now. So I need to, if I, Mr. Shofolue, so long as he's born again, so long as he has received the Holy Spirit, I need to be looking for Christ inside Mr. Shofolue. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? And if, if I see Mr. Shofolue, I should not see that's love. I'm discerning Christ. That's why I say we, we, we discern the body. The church is not what corporate affairs commission will register. That's what I'm saying. The real church. The real church. Because, you see, we're coming into some, some strange dimension now. Why? Because we have entered that transition period. It's like it was in the days of Noah. We have come into the ark. The ark is totally a strange reality that we have there. Do you understand what I'm saying? Everybody that is in this revelation of Christ, that person has entered the ark. That person is free to enter into the, the coming millennia. Not heaven, no. Not heaven. There is a coming millennia. Jesus wants to reign on the earth, but he's reigning through people that have manifested him. Through the Holy Spirit that they have. You see the preparation? So, it's going to... It's going to bubble people's mind. Your theology that you have always held on to that uh, we will rapture, the Antichrist will come. You don't know? You understand? That's what they are. That's what they lie to us about. That we will vanish one day. Hello? The rapture will happen though, because when he wants to destroy this earth, eh? Eh? he will, like you want to sweep your house now, you will take some that you need, destroy the house. That's what he did. This a type of rapture he did in the ark. He took them nowhere into the ark, he destroyed the earth with water. Then he brought them down, established a new order on the earth. It's exactly the same thing that Jesus Christ is coming to do. He will take us away. But he's not taking us away so that we'll go into the great tribulation. So that the people that are left behind will go into the great tribulation. No. He's taking people away, not to heaven. They are already inside him. He has preserved them from the trouble that we face the people of the earth. The people of the earth will face trouble. Why? Because they rejected Jesus. The ones that said that they are like Christ. They rejected Christ. Because they didn't die so that Christ can live his life. Do you understand what I'm saying?